Hey there, this is Vanessa D. Berlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about YouTube tools and on a budget. <laughs> Which ones can you purchase that are going to help you get your YouTube channel up and running? And I want to emphasize to you that it doesn't take a lot of money. I'm going to give you a few of the things that I started out with. You don't need all of them. You Everything I'm going to show you today, all of it will equal $250 roughly, but you don't even need all of it. So I'm going to show you different tools, um, how you can get started on your YouTube channel and go as economically as possible. You're probably watching this because you have been wanting to start a YouTube channel and you probably thought it was too expensive or everybody's telling you you're crazy, but deep down you really want to do it because you have something to share. My advice to you is do it. I have been on my channel for a year and especially those people that are in your family are going to be the ones that are going to tell you behind your back that she's crazy. She's crazy. I get the name eccentric um, applied to me as well. And once I started to monetize and I was making money, then everybody's ears started perking up like, hmm, what is she doing? And so that's what's going to happen to you. Ignore all of that. Um, be crazy. Who cares? I don't care if somebody calls me crazy. Do you? But get started. Just start doing it. And as I go through the tools, choose what you can afford and make it work. Now, obviously you have a phone or you have a laptop. So I'm going to show you how you can make your YouTube videos using these tools with a laptop and or with your phone. Most of us have a phone, right? So you might be starting there. You do not, I'm not even going to show you, you do not have to go out and buy a real expensive camera. Sure, there are people using them, but they cost, some of them cost close to $1,000 and you don't need to do that. That's what you start doing when you're making so much money, you don't know what to do with it, right? Um, I know of some very high functioning guru um, YouTubers that still use their phone. You don't have to go that extra step unless you want to and especially here in the beginning so let's assume you have a phone and that's what you're going to use to record everybody can do that this is the number one tool that i want you to make sure you have if you're going to always use your phone get a tripod this tripod i know you can buy those stick things but for me that was awkward trying to be natural because I talk with my hands, the Italian blood. Um, but it was hard for me to hold that and try to talk and keep it, you know, where it needed to be. If I put the tripod up and I put my camera on it, then I can just talk. And it was very, very easy. I could take it outside. I could take it in the house. Now, you're probably at this point thinking, what about lighting? Do I need lights? You don't have to have lights right now. Just make sure when you record, you're recording when it's daytime and use the daylight. So you don't have to have lights. This I highly recommend. It's less than $25. I think when I bought it, it was like 35 today. When I went in to look, it was less than 25. I have links all below. So, um, if you're watching this and the price increase, give me a little bit of grace there, but, um, I'm noticing some of these prices are going down and not going up. So definitely get the tripod the end, this tripod, you can make it short where it will fit on a countertop. So if you want to do something like I'm doing now, right there from your kitchen counter, um, that tripod can be, you know, at that perfect height, or you can take it outside and it will go up um, tall enough to, to reach you. So I think it goes about 54 inches, something like that. Um, well, I'll have to go back in and check, but it's always been tall enough um, to reach me and I don't even put it as tall as it goes. And I'm about five feet tall. So there you go. Um, so definitely get that. It comes with a case, never use it because um, I always have it out. Now, the next item, if you prefer to videotape from your laptop and your laptop camera doesn't seem to work really well. I started out using that and I got comments um, from people watching it saying that my videos were kind of blurry. Um, they weren't very good quality and things like that. I like those kind of co comments, the feedback, because it, it I want to improve. So I went out and got myself a laptop camera. It's called a webcam, um, a C920 webcam. And right now it's running less than $75. I, again, when I bought it, I think it was close to 95, something like that. So the prices have gone down, um, probably because they're bringing out new items that are better, but this has worked fine for me. So right there, um, just for, you know, two items, it's like roughly a hundred bucks. So again, you don't have to get this. Use your 
a phone. If you've got a good uh, camera on your phone, you've got good internet service and it's easy to download, then by all means do that. Now I went with the webcam because I live out in the country. We're on a satellite and it was taking forever to download my YouTube, the video for my phone. I still use my phone occasionally if I'm doing a short video, but if I'm doing something, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I do not like to use my phone because it takes forever to download it. And that's not fun. So, you know, if you've got good internet service, high speed and that works then by all means stick with the phone don't even mess with this now obviously if you want to videotape how-to videos and you need your screen then you will need to get the webcam because the webcam is going to pick up your your uh, laptop screen so again it depends on what your your needs are all right let's go to the third item microphone you can use the microphone that is in your laptop but again i noticed the quality wasn't very good so what i did first i went out and bought the, this microphone it's called a lavalier microphone they're less than 25 dollars. there's tons of them hit the link below and then when you hit that link other um, suggestions will come up I, you can spend anywhere from 12 to 35 dollars on one of these and it's a little microphone that you put like on your lapel um, it's a lapel microphone, that's a better word. And what's nice about it, if you have your tripod set up, you have your phone on your tripod, then you wanna go ahead and put your little microphone on your collar. And it comes with a really long wire, not a cord, but a real thin wire, and you can step back and be at a distance when you're talking. And the microphone's right here where it'll pick up. So you don't wanna use your phone microphone if you're using that system now if you're in the house and you're going to always use your laptop you, you might get away with using the microphone from the laptop just experiment with it once you uh, videotape go listen to it again and make sure it's clear if not this is very very economical less than um, 25 dollars to invest in i think they went down to 12 even so definitely look into that and definitely you need this if you're out you know using like I said, your, your phone, cause you want to have that close. Now, if you know, you're going to be doing this, you've already played around with YouTube channels and vi videos and things, and maybe you have your channel started. This is what I upgraded to. And I have loved it. This was like my biggest investment. I was really nervous when I went to do it. Um, but it's a Yeti microphone. I looked at tons of different ones. I kept looking at all the different reviews. I finally went with this blue Yeti and I went ahead and bought the package where that little buffer comes with it, where I can put that over my microphone. So the microphone doesn't pick up all the background noise. And then it comes with a headset. I did that, but you can, I think this ran about $140, but you can get just the microphone for less than a hundred. I, like I said, the lavalier, the little lapel, um, I started out using that, but I went ahead and upgraded to this. So I don't know where you're at on your journey and with making your videos. So I just wanted to give you some of the beginner tools. There are other things you can buy. There's lighting and there's backdrops and there's all this other stuff, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with all that stuff that you don't have to have. Like this right here, if you're just starting, I would recommend not getting this. Um, it took me three or four months before I uh, decided to get it. Cause like I said, I'm always trying to upgrade, um, make it better, but I'm taking it slow. Um, I don't want my whole business to be about going out and being, buying the best toys as much as spending my time trying to give the best content, if that makes sense. So um, I hope this was helpful. If you are using something that's economical, that you absolutely love, feel free to share it in a link below it down in the comments. Or if you have any questions, please ask. I would be happy to answer them. And always, as always, please um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put a video out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And all of those items that I just showed you, the links are below. Um, they'll take you directly to Amazon. You can go in, check them out. And like I said, if you don't want that particular item that I gave you a link for, you they always have suggested items beneath that. And they are affiliate links because I am an affiliate marketer. So I just want to make that clear. Um, so you get what you need. Amazon gets a cut and I get a cut and we are, we're all happy, right? That's what it's all about. All right. Thank you again for listening and I will see you on the next video.